to see something scary. Yes, I'm a Scorpio. Of course I want to see something scary. Don't worry, nobody Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. And of course, my first theory video has to be about Kirby and Stu. <laughs> I originally started this journey with a Kirby and Stu theory. My first theory, I will link it below. Yeah. Or go to my entertainment playlist. Just scroll down. I think it's like opening six prediction, prediction or something. Yeah. I mentioned that Kirby. In that video, I mentioned that Kirby was a part of Stu's cult. That he somehow saved her post Scream 4. And now she feels obligated to be loyal to him. Okay. That's all that I mentioned to him. Mentioning that. And Kirby is a huge horror fan. So, she's a huge that fan. She was obviously a part of the cinema club. Stu wouldn't know how to run a stab Reddit, Reddit thing. I think someone showed him how. And I personally believe it's either Kirby or Charlie. I think Kirby, I think Kirby's a little more tech savvy. I mean, they both are, but she could be too. What if Detective Bailey was telling the truth at the end of Scream 6? That Kirby's not all there. I mean, it would make sense. She went through a traumatic event, so. Get everyone out of there, Sam. You're not safe. I heard from the Atlanta field office. They said Agent Reed's been on a downward spiral ever since the Woodsboro murders last year. What are you talking about? They fired Kirby two months ago for being mentally unstable. <sighs> She's no longer with the FBI. Maybe she was admitted into a psych ward. She met Stu. They bonded over the fact that they were both forgotten. Because he's a forgotten ghost face. People seem to forget about that. And then she's to a forgotten final girl. Let's just say that. Because Gail, I don't, I don't know if Gail made a book or if she's not mentioned in the book. That would be a good motive. Like if Gail didn't mention Kirby at all in one of the books. Yeah, that can be a really good motive for Kirby to be allies with Stu. And like they have like a common ground to go after the others. Yeah, because Gail mentioned Stu once in her book. And then the very and like and then that's it. Like maybe she didn't mention Kirby at all. Because it was about Jill. Because Kirby and Gail Rihanna, had animosity in Scream 6. Well, you look like a I have a Maybe gun, Gail, Gail focused more on Jill because Jill is Sydney's cousin and she figu figures that would like boost book sales. So, now for the real reason to theory that I could think is possible. It's just something fun to think about. The possibility of Kirby Reed being Stu Mocker's daughter. I originally wanted it to be Tara, but since her, since Jenna and Melissa are not a part of the project, I think they could turn the tables a little and let Kirby shine for a little bit. On the focus we're on Sydney, but for to be a good balance between the old school and the new school, I think Kirby could be that. But yeah, I'm gonna provide videos, not videos, just some clues that can point to Kirby possibly be his daughter. She is a right around the right age. I'm gonna do some math simple as I can. Because in 2011, when Scream 4 was made, Kirby was about 17, 18, meaning she would have been born in 94. Okay, in September of 96, I believe it was like, Stu, Stu was probably 17 or 18 in 97. Okay. Casey Becker was 17, so she could have had the baby around 15 or 16. First actual clue here, if you want to take it as that. Yeah, there's a drafted script where Kirby mentions was originally supposed to live in Stu Marker's house because Sydney comes back to town for a book tour, and then Sydney asks Kirby, when does the Markers move? Yeah, the supposed second clue. I mentioned this in the beginning that Kirby loves horror movies. Okay. Who else loves horror movies? Stu. Yeah, most of the time, people that love horror movies end up being Ghostface. So, yeah. Also, my clues are going to be all, all over the place because they just come random in my head. Bear with me. So, 
who saved Kirby at the end of Scream 4? Charlie was dead. Supposedly, Charlie was dead. Jill, Judy, Dew, and Gail were all at the hospital. Although there is a scene where Sydney like looks down in the kitchen and hears someone walk out, that could be Kirby, but maybe Kirby didn't make it too far. Maybe someone found her. Again, I said this in the beginning, Wayne Bailey mentions that Kirby was unstable. What if he was telling the truth? Maybe she met Stu in the psych ward. They bonded over being the forgotten final girl and final ghost face. So, yeah. The entire Woodsboro police knows that Stu Mark is alive and is sworn to secrecy. Letting Dewey was sworn to secrecy and that was what was eating at him in Scream 5. So, if Dewey know, maybe Judy knew. Yeah, so. Maybe they told Kirby or Kirby figured it out. So, yeah. We don't know who her parents are. There's a deleted scene where she comes in saying, My parents are away and I'm not staying home alone. She never mentioned the parents' names. So. Evening, Sid. Evening. Evening, Jill. I found a little girl loitering outside. Hey, my parents are going for the weekend and there's no way I'm staying by myself. Hi, Chinese. Hey, then in Scream 6, Kirby and Mindy have a conversation. In front of Stu Marcus TV, that allegedly killed him. <laughs> it didn't. His hands were up. You can see that his hands were up and raising it. Hey, this is the dialogue. It's like the TV that killed Stu Marker. TV and Mindy goes, that if killed he Stu Marker. If you believe he's dead. Let's consider that the third quote. Oh, the fourth. Let's see. Now with the status of Scream 7 and Sam and Terror no longer being a part of it, but since Sam and Kirby have a shared history, have history, I think this is a certain detail, like a very important key to discuss. Yeah. Kirby tells Gail that her and Sam have a shared history with Ghostface. You're the FBI? Mm -hmm. You guys know each other? Yeah. We went to Woodsboro High together. She was a senior when I was a freshman. We share a certain history, yeah. It may be nothing, but looking back, I am thinking, what are they both the daughters of Billy and Stu? Even in the third act, when Ethan attacks Kirby, Kirby encourages Sam to go F him up. So, yeah. You know, like, after Sam pulls the knife out of the Kirby, she like, yeah, you know what I mean. Sorry, my camera went down a little. <laughs> like a different angle, but let's go. Okay. Then towards the end of Scream 6, where Kirby is on the gurney, she's been wheeled away into the ambulance, she has a conversation with Kirby, and, with Sam and Tara. Kirby says these three lines that really get to me, and like it seems very, very cryptic, like why would she say these lines? So, if you need anything, call me. Ignore my traffic. If you ever need me, call me. We are all part of the same effed up family. Meaning that they could possibly be sisters in, well, murder. Not exactly blood. So, okay. We're all part of the same fucked up family now. Yeah, because they would both be the daughters of the original killers that started it all. They would basically be the female Billy and Stu. She also mentions... Legacy doesn't always have to be a bad thing. And legacy doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Why would she mention that if she wasn't the daughter of a ghost face? Like the way she said it. Yeah, there's no place over here. Kirby is a huge staff fan, as well as Dylan and Charlie. They're probably the only ones that actually remember who Stu Marker was. But everybody else don't, they forget. So, yeah. Okay. Now, this is just basically the differences between Sam finding out that Billy was her dad and maybe Kirby finding out hers. I'm just speculating here, like, maybe this is Kirby's, like, thought process. Okay. For Sam, when she found out, she ran away. She was hesitant. She kept fighting it. But she, eventually, she, yeah, she accepted that Billy was her dad. Like, in Scream 6, we see her. I think that was the reason for her dropping the mask, which just 
Like this is my dad, I accept it, so yeah. Now for Kirby, she embraces it immediately. Hold on, I'll get there. She embraces the fact that she's the daughter of the one of the original killers that her favorite movie is based off of. <laughs> I'm gonna keep reminding all of you that Kirby is a huge stab fan. She's a huge horror fan. Like, come on, if she were to find out that she too was the daughter of the other one, I mean, come on, she would eat that up. She would eat that up and run it to the whole world, but knows that she can't. And then Suka is Steel Marker being alive. Like, the whole police force knows, and when she's hired, she's forced to keep it a secret. So. Either by the police or by Steel Marker herself. Because if she tells, he could get caught, you know? Because he is a wanted man. Like, what if he escaped from prison or from the psych ward? These are the clues that I have so far. Okay. Number one, Kirby Reed was originally supposed to be living in Stu Marker's house. Number two, Kirby loves horror movies. Ignore my traffic. Okay, number three, her conversation with Mindy was in front of Stu Marker's TV. Just saying. Number four, Kirby has a history with Sam in Ghostface. Okay. Number five, we don't know who her parents are. Okay. The number six, her dialogue towards Sam at the end of the movie, legacy doesn't always have to be a bad thing. That gets me. That really, really gets me. Like, why would she say that if she wasn't the daughter of one of the Ghostface killers? And I wouldn't mind it if she was the Marker's daughter. I think, I think they will be able to pass it. Make it possible. Pass it off. It. Just, just something to think about. <laughs> just, just a little something. So. <laughs> That's all the theories that I have. <laughs> I just wanted to do a fun little theory. Whether it makes sense or not, I just thought I'd share that with y'all and have it be the first theory video of 2024. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that fun little theory of Kirby possibly being Stu Marcus' daughter. So, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified for more videos. So, yeah, leave your thoughts and theories on any horror movies in the comments below and any other content that you would like to see. So, yeah, thank you for watching. No, see you in the next video. Right. I got it up. <laughs>